How is it going on everybody? My name is Pickle with the Matches Series and welcome back to the channel and oh boy We're getting closer and closer to the third DLC of Black Ops Cold War Zombies Mauer, Der Toten, our third round based zombies map in Black Ops Cold War It's getting closer and closer this Friday, July 15th We are going to get the map with a brand new quest like always and with a brand new perk I mean kinda old but brand new perk to Black Ops Cold War coming in as well meal kick coming in july 15th with season 4 reloaded with mar the totem coming with its brand new as you can see on the screen it's brand new perk machine design on mar the totem but coming to the wonder fizz on fire busy and the machine and outbreak so it's gonna be accessible to everybody everywhere so Treyarch has delivered a blog post fully dedicated to Meal Kick. And we're gonna read through it together, see what are the upgrades for Meal Kick gonna be. As we know, it's gonna have five additional tier upgrades to it, just like every single else. I'm gonna see what those upgrades are and potentially find out if they have integrated any new perk or old perk that was in other games, just like they, what they did with Electric Cherry into Elemental Pop, they, if they did anything like that at all to Meal Kick. And before getting to the blog post, please, 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 if you enjoy the video at all, if you enjoy the type of content I make and I deliver, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. And oh boy, I'm gonna destroy YouTube on July 15th about Marder Toten, Power, Packet Punch, Easter Egg, everything. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss it. El Budo's Guide to Meal Kicks, the new Black House Cobra Zombie Perks. You'll stand more of a chance against the undead in Marder Toten with three weapons in your loadout. Thanks to Milk Kick, our resident bureau breaks down what this new perk cola is all about, including all five of its skill tier upgrades. Across, across the, the fields, field. across the plains, he ran so fast he dodged the rain. He was a Muro, he hurried in to save the day. Gun in hand, and thrice they say. He was strong like a mule, he was stubborn like a mule, he even kicked like a mule. A Muro. Expect from an original Meal Kick jingle carved with Black Ops Cold War. Oh my god. Saddle up and prepare to down some Meal Kick Perker Cola because in and under the wild streets of Mara the Toten, two weapons may not be enough to deal with the undead threats waiting for you in Berlin. When the sun rises on Season 4 Reloaded on July 15th, Meal Kick will get its own new and improved machine in Mara the Toten, complete with enough light firing armaments to restock an army. Meal Kick will also be stocked into every Dev on the Fizz machine inside the world of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War zombies, including the machine, virus, and every map in Outrage. As every night draws us closer to doing the dirty work for Omega Group, let's learn about the perk that may save us, and maybe even Raptor 1 in Berlin. Fuck yeah, Raptor 1's alive. And here's a look at Weaver's new operator skin, which is inspired by Black Ops 1's events when he loses one of his eyes. Basic Pekagola overview and strategy. First introduced on the legendary Black Ops zombie map Moon, Milky gives players the ability to carry three weapons in their loadout as opposed to the standard two. After sipping a meal kick and picking up a third weapon, players can cycle through three weapons either by using the default swap weapon command or if a keybind is being used. Separate keybinds for all three weapons. If you lose meal kick, you will lose the additional weapon that was picked up unless you've upgraded this perk as explained below. I knew it. I told you in my later previous video. If you haven't checked it out, here's a video right here that I explained and guess kind of all the tears that might be coming in i mean i guessed it some of them might turn out to be true and this one is true as i mentioned in that video go check it out and see how many i guessed right so in short what you can afford to lose is kept in that extra slot and that's just the base version of milky without any upgrades what impact does a third primary weapon have on your zombie slaying abilities here are just five of the many scenarios we have that third weapon comes in very handy i mean a lot of my friends, I mean the ones that came just for Black Ops Cobra, they did know nothing about old zombies. They think Milky is gonna be shit. So yes, maybe on some map, on some Call of Duty before, that you couldn't have 7, 8 perks now. All at once, yeah, you could maybe, you know, sacrifice a third weapon for a better perk. But here, that you can have everything, I think it's necessary for a third weapon in your slot. But I in the spice in Milky. Couldn't decide between a powerful sniper rifle to destroy elite enemies or a bullet hose SMG for hordes to complete your two weapon setup? Worry no more, with Mill Kick, it can have those weapons in addition to your starting weapon available for use. Like my I'm gonna give a scenario for you alongside with this. Like you hop in any map with one of the best guns, either M16 or maybe let's say like Howard or Gallo. Then you come a little bit further and you find a ray gun. You wanna have a ray gun and the M16. 
but you're on the machine so it can carry the die as well so ray gun or die i mean and not upgraded die is kind of useful with insta kill so you, you have to choose between these two guns but with mule kick you don't have to one or no more taking a wonder weapon often means replacing your primary loadout weapon or another powerful standard weapon you found during your mission all the incense and salvage put into a packet punching or upgrading it goes to waste with mule kick you can keep your upgrade weapons and still be a quick swap away from the game's most powerful uh, armaments. Exactly what I said. Certain objectives or quests require a special weapon or weapon type to unlock next steps. Think a sniper rifle for hitting a small target at long ranges or a shotgun for rapidly bursting open an ethereal orb in Outbreak. A single meal kick and additional third weapon are more likely to do the tri trick in either case. And in a multitude of other combat situations where you have got a carving for far more firepower. And this is all before we upgrade our meal kick with some raw, refined, and flawless Ethereum killstones. Like, these are upgrades. I'm gonna read them because I think. Yes, it says it all here. Okay, let's read this. Skill to your upgrades. Have some spare Ethereum crystals collecting dust on your gun bench. When season 4 reloaded launches, you'll be able to use raw, refined, and flawless Ethereum crystal, all three types of crystals, to unlock five additional skill tier upgrades for your meal kick. Here's why each upgrade makes this perk a truly powerful force in zombies. Like, I, I haven't seen any of it, and I'm so excited for it. You have no idea. First upgrade. Crafted equipment grants an additional equipment if able. What? Every time you go to the bench with the hard ending salvage, you get two equipment pieces for the price of one. That means double grenades, double decoys, and yes, double monkey bombs, making it the first skill upgrade and an incredible start to Mule Kick's advancement path. 100% right. All enemies have a small chance to drop ammo. I mean, they kind of do, I mean, they do this in Outbreak, in round, uh, let's read it. While enemies already have a chance to drop ammo in Outbreak, exactly, this wasn't the case around the zombies maps, until now. Once you upgrade a meal kick to skill tier 2, the odds of finding ammo on zombies' corpses will be in your favor on D-Machine, YBZ, and Mario the Toad. Upgrade number 3! Stout weapons slowly refill ammo from stock. Oh my god! Picture this, in the middle of a boss fight, you financially fire your ray gun down to a single charge with more in the reserve, but you don't have speed color to quick and its reload. I mean, speed color does nothing. Shut the fuck up. As at skill tier 3, Meal Kick will provide the additional benefit of refilling its magazine from its available stock, allowing you to swap to one of the other two weapons temporary. Then bring that weapon back at one it stopped off. Upgrade tier 4. 25% chance to keep non-reliable equipment when used. Ah. Hmm, I mean, this is kind of bullshit. Remember those double monkey bombs you just crafted as part of Milwaukee Steel 1 upgrade? You now have a chance to keep one of them, or any equipment outside of the Tomahawk and C4. After its use, this may be incredibly helpful to use the new LT Krasmic Grenade. Ah, yes, the new Gersh device. He's right, I mean, if you have it, we don't know what, how, what it does, but, I mean, it could be used... With this, and the last one we already know about, a third primary weapon is recovered when repurchasing Meal Kick. Normally when you lose Meal Kick, your third weapon is lost with it. With its upgrade, that weapon is called back whenever you chug another Meal Kick. An incredibly valuable end to an outstanding skill to your upgrade path, to say the least. Meal Kick will fundamentally change the way you play zombies come July 15th. Even on its own, without any other Coca-Cola combination in mind, this old-fashioned cocktail has enough bite to help you deal with those that bite back. Oh my god, this was fucking fantastic. Nothing left? No, nah, there's nothing else. It, it, one of the guesses that I had for you know, a meal kick was true, and one of the guesses that I said is happening, but the other four that I said was complete bullshit, none of it was true for some reason, and what kind of makes me sad, and that is basically everything for this video. Thanks everybody for watching the video up on this point, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like the like button, and seriously consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, and I will be seeing you guys later on.